What's going on everyone? Got a brand new movie review for you guys today. Today I'm discussing one of the most surprising films I've seen all year long and it might just be one of my favorite films as well. It's called The Hate You Give. You Give is a brand new crime drama about an African-American girl named Star Carter who is constantly switching between two worlds. The poor mostly black neighborhood where she lives and the rich mostly white prep school she attends. The uneasy balance between these worlds is shattered when Star witnesses the fatal shooting of her childhood best friend Khalil at the hands of a police officer. Now facing pressures from all sides of the community, Star must find her voice and stand up for what's right. And let me just go as far to say, I wasn't super over the moon excited about this movie, one being the trailer didn't get me hooked. I liked what it was portraying, but it just looked to be a little bit cheese ballish and not the type of best trailer but the trailer doesn't do this film justice and neither does the synopsis this film feels like one of the most real movies i've seen in a very long time tackling a lot of issues that we obviously see on social media on news almost every single day on a constant basis but tackling it in a very realistic and real light where it feels and gives that emphasis a power to it that is the best word to describe this film though is powerful and power the reason all this kind of comes together isn't just because the film tackles these strong messages it's the way that they tackle them and the way the story is told and one of those great things that the story is told through is the performances in here two most notable performances in here though is a name that one you've probably barely ever heard of i'm hearing it for the first time and you guys this is going to be a star is amanda steinberg who plays star carter she is brilliant she brings realness raw and great readiness to this character of star who's someone that it's one of the worst tragedies to see one of your best friends die in front of you i've never had this happen to me but my god you seriously believe in it the amount of times where i had to hold back from crying it, it, it speaks words to her performance. She gives one of the best performances I've seen all year long. Charming, adorable, but at the same sense, real. One of the other big performances in here is Russell Hornsby, who plays Maverick Carter, her father. And their relationship is just excellent. It's one of the most believable father-daughter relationships I've seen in film in a very long time. But it's one of those performances that, again feels real and feels powerful to it and it's just as because of the relationship that it works but it's because of him and how great a performance he gives he's one of those actors that shows up here and there in certain things you're like oh i recognize him oh i recognize him but my god this is the best performance he's ever given and i would not be shocked if the guy gets nominated for best supporting actor this year george tillman jr who is a director who i'm not really been the biggest fan of after this film, I want to see him tackle more stuff within this. He tackles this movie in a very, again, real way, but portraying it and melding all these different tones. The reason this film feels so real, though, is because, in a sense, life is a roller coaster ride. You go through one day being sad, and then maybe the next moment something cheers you up in a second, even though you're still gravitating and feeling that loss or feeling that sadness towards something. Sometimes things can cheer you up. Some things can go through, and you have to just continue through life. And in a sense, this film isn't just tackling tackling that whole issue it tackles star's life and how she's going about it she still is going to school she's still going to prom she's still living her life and so is her family and that's what she's going through but it feels real in that aspect because you're still living with her and that there's moments of levity where you're laughing where you're enjoying it there's one scene where her white boyfriend from the prep school meets her dad and it's easily one of the best moments in the movie and it doesn't feel like it's off tone at all it feels like it's just centered in the right perfect moment and structure cover that aspect going to those real life issues that this film is tackling where it's tackling social media where it's tackling police brutality where it's tackling racism and all sorts of different levels in there there's so many things that you can dig and dissect within this movie to just look at and be like these are real world issues that are happening on a daily basis but they're happening in these daily basis and that there's something that we need to do. The film is a call to arms in a sense, but in a way where it's not shoving it down your throat, where it's not shoving it in your face, but doing it in a sense where it's calling you. It's calling you and raising all these issues and showing both sides of the light, which I really appreciated that they could tackle that. Once again, I have to say the film is powerful because of that. It made me look at these real world issues in ways that I had already seen, but even I need even more of a light on it. You Give is easily one of the best films of this year. If not, if like literally if the Oscars were tomorrow, I would be shocked if this doesn't win best picture it carries fantastic performances all around one of the best cast of the year carries a great direction a fantastic script which 
I will not be shocked if this thing gets nominated for Best Adapted Script. Fantastic. I want to read the book now. So it just melts all together a great message to carry out there, to call to arms, and just preach out there in the best type of way. And I find the hate that you give a powerful movie that's real, it's raw, it's gritty, it's emotional. At times I had to hold myself from crying because I was so invested within each and every one of these characters. I loved this movie so so much do not miss out on this no matter what you thought of the trailer no matter what your thoughts are on the film it's a film that you seriously cannot miss with all that said i'm gonna give the hate you give an a it's almost a near perfect movie i do feel like the film was a little bit tad too long but with the pacing that really melds it all together where i was never wanting to check my watch i absolutely love the movie tell um, me guys what are you guys thoughts on the hate you give are you guys excited for this movie have you been looking forward to it let's talk about it down below in the comments so if you guys are looking to see other movies early this year check out sandwich on films also down below because right down there we not just provide movie news and movie reviews we also give out advanced screens that could be happening near you guys thank you guys so much for all the support this is easily like I'm stunned by how much I like this movie, and I hope you guys like it just as much as I did. So guys, until next time, stay classy.